Sup everybody, I'm Bulbuloni. So we have a new method of making money in GTA solo and you can make a million and a half every hour. I'm gonna show you from the beginning until the end all what you need to do and how to do it and give you tips and tricks on how to make it like most official, you know. So here you, you see I got a 100% cut, you go in stealth and you don't lose money. First thing you do, you load into story mode. Because from story mode, you go to online, then you go play online and invite only session. Why? Because nobody will bother you, it's only you by yourself, no other players, so nobody's gonna touch you. Once you're inside online, you need to go to your phone and go to uh, Warstock and buy the submarine. It costs 2.2 million. And to get the money for that, just do all the double missions, you know, triple double missions, and get the helicopter, the sparrow. It's like very good, I'll show you why. If you don't have money for it, don't worry about it, but if so, once you do, so you need to go, once you buy the submarine, you need to go here, it's near the casino, to start the heist, the, uh, what's it called, Cayo Perico heist. <laughs> So you come here and you start basically the the heist and in the submarine you have here supplies that you can get and I show you like why you need the supplies, you know, it's for your health. This is in the kitchen area in the submarine. So once you complete it once you have a hard mode. So every time you play it, play it on hard mode, it give you gonna give you ten percent more of money and you can play hard mode only after you finish it once so once you f play it for the first time just have fun scope the island look for all the you know stuff that you want to look for i'm going to show you the only two things that you need to scope that you don't do it only once I'll give you a tip if you go to first person and press x you will run fast so you don't need to spam x you just press it you just hold x and you run fast and it goes for swimming as well the same thing so when when you in the island the Cayo Perico island you need to go here this is the first point the main dock you need to get here and take a picture and send it to Pavel so swim from the right side and if you just hold x it will swim fast so you don't need to like spam it once you are here, take a picture and send it to Pavel, the guy from the submarine, the Russian guy. <laughs> and here you have two warehouses with uh, 100k each, so go to the warehouse, take a picture of the money. I will show you on the map where it is. Now I'm sending the money to Pavel. So this is how you gather intel in the Cayo Perico island. So this is one money place and here is another one. One of these warehouses you have another 100k. Don't do it if you're lazy like me. And the second point you need to go here. i show you on the map. Under the water. This is the entrance way to the heist. To the mansions. You just go underwater into this place. And you don't need to take a picture. As soon as you come here it says here that Pavel got the info. And uh, this is the way you're gonna go in. This is the entrance place, yes. <laughs> so once you go back up, I'm gonna show you on the map <coughs> where is the location of the terminal that you go into the highest. It's from here. This is the place. Yeah, and the quick way to go back to Los Santos, just kill yourself, either by drowning or just falling, you know. <laughs> you get back here into the airport and you just fly back. So just have fun in the island, you know. I really enjoyed it. Played the GTA 5 years already and uh, stopped playing and got back for this heist, it's really enjoyable. So this is the intel that you finished and here you need to do only 5 missions which will take you like about like 50, 40, 50 minutes. You need to do only 5. In the equipment you don't need to do the, the first one, I'll show you. 
You need to do only five, one vehicle, one layout, and he, one take the submarine. Yeah, you need to to play. Don't use any other. You need a submarine so you will have a, a what's it called a scuba so so you can you know go through the tunnel. In the equipment, don't do the first one demolition, even though it's mandatory. Do the only three above, and another one you need to do the last one like there. And buy armor. You can buy ten. Buy the full armor like the. And uh, here I'm getting the torch. So I need to do only five preps. It's like 40, 50 minutes, and then the final husk is like 10 to 20, 20 minutes. Here, if you lean, you can eat snacks. You see, and it gives you health. So this is a fast way to eat snacks, because if you don't lean, it's gonna take time. And in the inventory, if you go to body armor, you can, you know, put body armor. You don't have to lean for that. <coughs> so the best thing about this helicopter, it's so fast. And it goes easily in and out. Don't forget to put missiles on it. It's gonna help you a lot So once we are in the submarine, I'm gonna show you a tip if you're away from the submarine like uh, really away just uh, go to options and uh, request to like uh, Put it away and then request to like bring it back and here if you here I need to like go to the submarine mission, okay? But here in the map you see that I'm really far away. So instead of me like flying the whole way or driving there, you know, or <laughs> with a boat like, you know, you just go to the submarine and you can like move it for only 2k. It's really really convenient, the best 2k you can spend in this game. And here is the options that you can go. I just go near to the place I need to be. Press 6. And I'm there. Easy peasy. <laughs> and if you like in a prep mission and the submarine is far away, just like request to, you know, put put the submarine away and then request to bring it back and then you're gonna be back in the submarine. So it's gonna be close to you, you know. Don't need to drive again the whole island, you see. <laughs> so only do like five prep missions, that's it, every time. Five prep missions. So this is gonna show you. Um, yeah, this is like the, the, this is why like the helicopter is the best, and you can just go in and out easily, and it saves you a bunch of time. And requesting the submarine it saves you a bunch of time. Here is me in the other submarine getting the thing that I need, the jammer, you know, for the heist. So you do one vehicle, the Kosatka submarine, then you do need to do three prep missions, the, the first one demolition you don't do, and the last thing is the, the guns. If you have the mission, the guns, uh, that you need to, here is the Kosatka, yeah, so you go from the main, main dock. If you have the mission with the guns that you need to follow a helicopter, just quit and start again when you have the mission with the building, so it's much faster, because you need to follow the helicopter, it takes a long time. So, this is here I'm showing you all the entrance points, what you need to go, what you need to choose. Just look at what I'm choosing. <laughs> I was talking over here, so they you go through the tunnel with the submarine Kasatka and you go out from the main gate. This is basically it. For the love of God, find a boat as fast as you know, as soon as you can. So once you find the boat, you come here to the back. This is like we started the heist already. This is like the last 10 minutes that you're gonna play. It's gonna, like, the more time you do it, it's gonna be faster and faster, you know. So here I'm cutting the thing, I'm gonna go inside. The video is super long, so it's a lot of information. <laughs> Hope it helps you. <laughs> yeah, so this is the best method to make money solo now. Before that it was the warehouse, the CEO. I was making, uh, you can make, uh, uh, like, 200k every 20 minutes. No, sorry, 100k every 20 minutes, yeah. But here you make in an hour a million and a half, so this is better now. That's why I made this video. <laughs> so you basically go in, you're gonna be stealth, so just shoot with the suppressor. It doesn't really matter which weapon, just uh, sh so you have a suppressor, so it doesn't alarm the people. You shot them in the head, only in the head. That's it, show you here. 
and there is a faster method to finish it but I went to the long run and I showed you where is the other weapons that you can collect from the heist you have a one shotgun and a, a golden gun K okay, or whatever gun that you need to find from a homeless guy in, in normal session in few random points which you need to like so yeah just go in yeah, just take your time don't get caught you know take your time and don't don't run too much because then it's, good, it's gonna alarm the people shoot them in the head like I'm doing now it's really really fun update it's maybe the best heist because you can do it by yourself and you have many interesting um, options to choose it's not like only one option you have many options to do it but this is the best option like uh, I was playing GTA for five years then I uh, started creating races and I created uh, you can see my races in a uh, parkours in the description I'm gonna put it in the end but I got bored of uh, GTA because it's like same thing all the time but this update is really a fresh fresh thing they did and we will never have here is the place for the shotgun I already took it but this is where it should be and after you take it you can buy it from the um, ammunition stores yeah, I guess many people now like become mature and start playing it because they were younger so many more people coming so Rockstar makes a bunch of money from the game so they won't do a GTA 6 <laughs> At least, you know, not, not if, uh, for the years to come, I guess. Yeah, so in this video you can see I really took my time. It's it, This is my first time doing it stealth, by the way. I always just... I never... By the way, I never played stealth in GTA. Never in my life. This is the first time you actually see me going stealth. And the reason is because you don't lose money. Once they shoot at you, you start losing money. So this is the best quiet way. Y you can do it much faster than me if you go straight, but you can get caught. Here in the upstairs you have another guy. Here is the guy. I just waited for him to come. Yeah, shoot in the head, that's it. Yeah, so once you come here, you grab this thing, and here you have a safe. You open the safe, you get uh, up to 100k here as well, it's nice. Here you have in this drawer, you have the K or uh, golden gun. And here you need to hack the fingerprints. It's kind of simple. You just need to crack it until you get it, you know. <laughs> just look onto the right side that you match it correctly. It's kind of simple, but you know, some people probably have difficulties getting that. Takes time. Yeah, so once you're inside, come here, torch up the the thing, <laughs> the gate. Go here. Pavel gives you an SMS with the number you need to put to the safe. Need to remember it or write it down. <laughs> Take the thing. So each time you come, it's a different. Uh, they're gonna give you something else to steal. Sometimes it's a million. Sometimes it's a million and a half. So it's it, it's really random the stuff that you're stealing. And if there is a painting, oh by the way, here you need to jump, and uh, this is the best way to get out of the place and shoot one person here. Yeah, that's it forgot what I was saying before <laughs> so this is the I'm going out from here and I'm all still in stealth and so nobody shoot at me here I get angry because I don't know how to go out <laughs> that was funny yeah so do you have a guy here he is not facing you so it's hard easy to kill him don't take the bike yet <laughs> you have more people to kill one guy here and now it's tricky, there is two people so you need to kill them fast so they won't be alarmed one, two 
and there is a camera here so shoot the camera and I don't just follow what I'm doing take the bike drive around so you know nobody don't get spotted basically go from where I'm going be careful of the bushes <laughs> they're like really <laughs> hard so when you get once you get to the main dock you have a place to collect money two places by the way so don't get caught of course you know and this is the kill this guy and you have a camera above you need to kill it I'm gonna kill it after I get the money towards the gate get the money give me money 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 yes yes give me all give me all Tada. спасибо пока shalom yeah this is the camera shut it down basically go to the boat you need to kill the guy to the left of me I'm gonna kill him after <laughs> oh and this one yeah and this one yeah and this one <laughs> yeah yes I need to kill three people here and another one that I will kill in the near future you take the boat take the boat yes take it yes you go here and this is the guy so he will spot you if you go out so I forgot to kill him <laughs> And you take the boat again, yes. And after you take the boat, you're done. Just drive away. I mean, like, boat away. <laughs> and that's it. Up to, like, a million and a half. You can even make more by yourself, solo, stealth, in, in an hour. Best way of making money now in GTA. Hope the video helps you. Like the video, subscribe. Tell me if you need any help in the comments. Tell me if you have like a better way to do it, you know. Yeah, any tips, other stuff, you can tell me. So, what else to say? It's a great heist that they made. Too bad we don't have GTA 6, but, you know. This is what we have so far. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Wish you all a happy new year and all the best and bye bye everybody bye bye